There's been a media revolt against President Trump over his charge that news organizations aren't covering many terror attacks or aren't covering them enough, and that quote, as you saw earlier, they have their reasons. Meghan McCain, yeah. the network says we saw a pushback pretty hard on this. Um, Trump says they're not covering it for a reason. What do you make of this back and forth? Yeah, I didn't understand this at all, and you need more evidence than just simply uh, sending out a list of terror attacks that, in my opinion, were covered very well, especially extensively on this network. I also find it strange that your spokesperson, Kellyanne Conway, is going on TV and making up massacres at the same time. She well, took that was a, a mistake for, for which she It was apologized. a mistake, but it's still, uh, it's still being used in memes and protest signs all over the country. Sorry, continue. I think <laughs> you keep cutting her off. She, she has yeah, to you cut you cutting off. me off. <laughs> I, I think many journalists. I'm going to cut you off now. I think many journalists are personally offended by this. I'm going to give you a lot of time, Joe, because they've gotten on planes to cover the aftermath of some of these. Well, things. yeah, they they. But that offense is working for, work for uh, Trump again. And, and I, I watched the news that day. They pushed back so hard. Let us show you all the times we right. covered. And how does that help uh, him? I'm sitting there at home going like, man, that's a lot of attacks. I mean, in other words, it, it actually kind of, he's a win-win. If they all back off and say, yeah, you're right, we didn't, he wins. Uh, and if they come back and show a lot of the coverage that they did, they, he's, they're there making his point. There's a kernel of a concept that was worthy of more discussion, that maybe we don't cover foreign policy and national security enough. Now, was he wrong in what he said? Yes. Did media organizations pu push back as they should have? Yes, but maybe we could have discussed it a little bit further. You m recall in 2014, there were tons of ISIS beheadings, and, and then there was a discussion after that that maybe we shouldn't give ISIS that much publicity. But that's exactly the point I was going to bring up, Megan. The, the, the debate in media circles before this has been whether we give these attacks too much coverage, whether we're, the, the press is playing into the terrorist's hands by making it the lead story for days and days. Uh, I don't, it's a hard dilemma to resolve, and here's uh, the president saying, they're not covering some of these attacks adequately, and they have their reasons. What do you think he was insinuating? Well, the, the implication is that there are political reasons why the Obama administration somehow wasn't letting you know about terror attacks. Well, but there's a thing called social media and yeah. the Internet. Yes, and played it down. I, I, what, again, if we're like taking reality and taking it a few steps further, I, I would assume that means just because the Obama administration was saying everything's going amazing in Iraq and Afghanistan, ISIS has not metastasized, it hasn't grown, and he was trying to say they were covering in that way. All of this is really clumsy narrative. I mean, you know this very well. I just wish they could keep this concise and tight instead of trying to, you know, read the tea leaves of exactly the kernel of truth, as you said, but, they're trying to say. But I agree with Aaron. There was a missed opportunity to actually have a discussion about how we cover this. And, and instead, it was just sort of defensive and going right back on the attack against well, something the president The White House said. list of 78 attacks included some that there were no casualties and some that we hadn't heard of because they were, you know, look, we obviously cover attacks far more intensively when they're uh, uh, on foreign soil and they're not in a place like Britain or France. Uh, but they also included Orlando, San Bernardino, Paris, Nice, which got saturation coverage. Oh, that, I mean, uh, there are a lot of people who would argue, and I'd be one of them, that on some of them, we just cover them so much and put so much fear out there. Uh, and that's the argument, I think, that we, you know, when we... Just if I can inject one last that. note here in the time we have left. So President Trump also this week talked about how the murder rate in our country is the highest it's been in 47 years. Actually, it's near a half century low. The next day he used a different statistic about the increase, which was accurate. Um, so there seems to be a constant, and we, we talked about this a little bit with CNN. Well, the president was wrong about this, the president was wrong about that. CBS's Scott Pelley says, divorced from reality in the lead of his newscast. Look, they do need to get their facts straight. And, and President Trump should make that a goal of his for the year 2017 to start putting out accurate statistics. I do think back on the terrorism thing, though, I would like to ask him, what is it that you think the American public is missing? Not just what is the media not covering, what do you want to tell us about terrorism that you've learned since taking office? Uh, well, you're at the White House every day now. You can, you can ask that question. Eric McPike, we'll see you later. Megan McCain, Joe Trippi, thanks for stopping by this Sunday.